Well, normally we talk about going to the movie and how we can't go to the movie. But we decided that this one is not even about a movie, if you can even believe it. This one is going to be about how we watched the TV show. Yeah. The whole show. <laughs> over the course. Not just today. Yeah. Over the course of the lockdown that we've had. Mm -hmm. and a little maybe, bit maybe, maybe we started a little bit before. Okay. I don't remember. We did. But, but guess what it is? We decided to watch the Parks and Rec show. Uh, for a second time. Yeah. The whole yeah. show. Yeah. So we watched the final what episode today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I had all the eye drips and I was like. Drip, 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 drip. Oh, yep. These are my friends. So we decided that we would talk about it. I thought that was a really good show. It's such a good show. It has so many uh, heavy hitters on it. Tell me more. Well, you know, it has, it has the the lady from Saturday Night Live, Tina Frey's friend. She is blonde. Leslie Nope. Yeah. What's her name, though? Amy. A yeah. Polar. A Amy Polar Bear. And then you have the, the Christopher Pratt. Mm-hmm. He is also known as Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy and Avengers movies. And, uh, let's see, the Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson. Classic. Doing his best Nick Offerman impersonation. And, uh, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and then Rob Lowe shows up like a couple seasons in. That's what, that was kind of a little bit weird. Because he was, seemed like he was a little bit too famous to be on that show. But mm -hmm. he was a good addition. Mm -hmm. And he... That was weird. He wasn't in the last season. But he was in the last episode. Mm. But, uh... And he wasn't in the first two seasons. So he was just in the middle bunch. Mm -hmm. So, that was, that was good. Mm -hmm. And, uh... <clears throat> Owen, Aziz Ansari. He got in trouble... In the past couple of years, for for being a, a dirty guy, mm -hmm. but he was good on the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in yeah, retrospect, it was really fun. the things he was saying it's on that show, yeah, it's like, like that doesn't help out his situation. Doesn't help your case, buddy. Doesn't help your case. <laughs> Not that you were projecting this is how things would go, but yeah, yeah. Um, so I really like the show a lot, and I like like the character development, like how. Yeah. Everyone started off as a terrible person, and then they became really good. I don't. They didn't <laughs> yeah, really start they be, terrible, but they you know, good friends. And I think um, they had part relationships. Of, yes, and part of the thing was to take this character trait of this person to the extreme for comedy. Yeah, for making a point. Yeah, because you can, you know, relatable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there was a an interesting thing about a. Uh, Obviously, in a show like this, the setup, you would think that Leslie Nope and Ron Swanson would fall in love. No. That is obviously the way shows normally go. Mm. But they said, we ain't doing that. Mm -hmm. These are not Sam and Diane characters. That's from Cheers. Mm -hmm. I know that. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, so they they didn't do that. Friendship. But friendship. Like, yeah. But they they became really close friends, which is something that usually isn't the main story arc of the uh -huh. the main characters, mm -hmm. you would say. But yeah, and just how everyone learned to love each other. Oh. Yeah, they all became together. successful and fulfilling lives. Mm -hmm. It's just so great. It's just such a great show. Yeah. And it was goofy. It was very goofy. And Leslie Nope and all her binders and all her over-the-topness. Yeah, it was so weird because her character was like she was super organized at work, but she was a hoarder at home. Yeah, it's kind of And she funny. was completely unorganized at home. And I was like, I'm not sure that would happen, but it's an interesting Monica. choice. Yeah. And then... uh. And Gary, Larry, Terry, Jerry... Yeah, they kept changing that guy's name, that which I fun. didn't understand the whole thing about them treating him bad. He was just a normal guy. I know. <laughs> I know. I forgot he got to become mayor. Yeah, I forgot that too. <laughs> well, maybe we should have put a spoiler alert out. Spoiler for the show that's really old. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Then, and it's a little funny that we did the um, video just a few weeks ago about the yeah the, the thing, comeback, and now it's like we'll tell you about special. the series. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So that's fun. Yeah. But, yeah. But and she gets to be. Can we say? What? 
She runs for governor. Oh, oh yeah. This is, I had also forgotten how, how much left-leaning the politics in the show were. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they're always showing, you know, she's all about Joe Biden and all this, you know. All, oh, I didn't tell sorts, you. All sorts so of stuff. So there's this thing in this there's last episode. There's one Republican that shows up in the show, John McCain. He shows up a few oh, times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't she really like him, too, or something? I don't know. Yeah, well, she likes, she wants to get him to do something. And he's scared of her because she's so intense. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, there's this one time where she's like crying in the coat closet. Yeah, and he just wants his coat. And, she's and she like, just, she's just like, some ah. people. And she's missed her chance to meet him or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, she this whole, the whole thing is just like she has a crush on Joe Biden. But on the final episode, Joe Biden's president. <laughs> Yeah. I think that's what they're, they were applying. They didn't come out and say it, but they were at yeah, a party the, at the White and House. And it was like this futuristic in 2025. date. 2025. Which is. 2025, which is. Could be. Feasible. I, I, I kind of don't think it's going to happen, but it's feasible. Feasible, which was like wild because it was like. Because they just do the things with like. Like there was this time like now and into the future and now and into the future. Yeah. And so their future dates were like way in the future yeah this was, was filmed. in 2025 and or uh yeah and i was like okay blah 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 white house blah, blah, blah. and then it's like whew. and i was like but how did you how think, did you know i think they were implying no, that condoleezza rice was his vice, vice president, president which is also something that they're talking i've heard people talk about so, this is prophetic oh and the other thing about the beef oh yeah oh my goodness it, it, Tom's restaurant went under because who could have foresaw that we would run out of beef? Right? Seriously. <laughs> well, that's what we didn't talk about in the other video. Yeah. That that's a thing. It's like, well, it's weird because it's not like we don't have enough animals. It's uh, no, the weird middlemen. Uh, yeah, exactly. But the fact that the show. Yeah, they, like, they like, we ran out of did beef. You know? who, who could have foresaw that America would run out of beef? Uh huh. It's like, whoa! There was seemed like some other things were like super timely. It was really interesting. Yeah, it was. It was. It was spooky. It was, what it at was. one point we had to like push. Pa I was like, whoa, push pause. It's almost like whoa. it was all planned. Oh, by Bill Gates and or, Dr. Fauci. Or, or not? Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fauci. Um, Fauci, Fauci. Something else I was gonna mention. I like that guy. Oh, I do too. On the last episode, they did this artistic thing with. When they jump time with like hands and then they flip. Yeah, time. I don't think that actually worked out the way they but wanted it. But it was kind it of to. a cool idea. Yeah, it didn't. It it made the first part of it because they kind of dropped it near the second half of the episode. So I think they started filming it thinking that they were going to have all the transitions be zoom in on these hands and, and zoom then, out into a different thing. Because of the way the square things were? The, well, yeah. I think they did that instead. Oh, you think? Because I don't think it worked out. It's like, uh, this is what I. Because it was. A real awkward thing where they kept having everybody touch hands or touch an arm, and then they would put that in the square, and they'd have another square, and someone it's, would be touching which an is, arm. Or the head. other wild thing about that is like that's what people are doing on like Zoom now. Yeah. Like with There's the squares. Everyone's and in a square. So everything. It was like it was made for 2020. I'm telling you, the it show is prophetic. Yeah. No, I don't know. It's just really the last episode. Really anyway. Yeah. It was weird. It was way way weird. I'm telling you, <laughs> but it was kind of cool. But yeah, so this was one part where like Ron and Leslie were like holding hands for like a super, super, super long time just because of how it worked. Yeah. But I was like, I don't think Ron would do that. I don't think Ron would do that. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Anyway, it's fun. I'm a little swing, so it's fun. Anyway, it was good. It's worth your time. You know, yeah. all of it. It's all a good of show. the whole, how many of our seasons there are. The first and the last season are very short seasons. <sighs> So it's like the first season is like six episodes, and the last season we is twelve a episodes. Lot. I will tell you that. Oh yeah, and most of the seasons are like twenty-two episodes, except for one, which was half that in the middle. And I'm guessing it's because that's when the writer strike was. But <laughs> mm -hmm. if you ever see a season, a show that has one short season in the middle, in the middle of a bunch of, I'm it, it's it's fair to guess that that was the year the writer strike happened. <laughs> I remember that time. But. Yep. Anyway, anything yeah. else we want to do a little recap? I don't know. It was it was a good show. I really enjoyed it. I'm just looking at different things because I was thinking about those songs, the Mouse Rat songs. Oh yeah. Oh, you a wanted little, to mention the thing about the little, drummer? Yeah, a little piece of trivia. The person trivia. who wrote all those songs 
was the guy who played the drummer in the band. Yeah. He, he, he's a comedy writer and musician, and he wrote all the songs. Mm -hmm. His name is Mark Rivers. Mm -hmm. Not to be confused with Rivers Cuomo from Different. Weezer. <laughs> Different. But, yeah, he's the guy that wrote all the songs. So I thought that was interesting. <laughs> I was like, oh. Because I figured that they either hired some some band no one heard of or something to write some songs or it was just some comedy writers and then they had studio musicians but it was like no it was just this guy <laughs> he writes songs for other shows and stuff like that but, and jerry gary got to be 100 no he died <laughs> but he got to be 100 oh he did yeah oh. remember his birthday party i don't remember him being 100 <laughs> It was weird. Yeah. And I just remember the part with this tombstone. And then something else happened I was going to tell you about. I think they might have been implying that either... Leslie... Oh, he got to be mayor a bunch of times. That was the yeah, funny yeah. thing. But I think... Oh, that was another weird thing. He got to be mayor because Bill Murray was the mayor the entire oh, show. Show, yeah! But that's we what they implied. Him. They implied yeah. that he was the mayor the entire time, but he just sat in his office and never did anything. Uh -huh. Which is hilarious to think that's a, that Bill Murray was there the entire time. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> ah. oh, no. Lots of fun things. Yeah, the, then, the thing... I think they imply that Leslie or her husband became president because they had Secret Service people oh, at talking the funeral. At, at the funeral at some point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which was always her goal. Yeah. That so, was a little moment there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and the whole thing of um, Leslie's love for Pawnee and the place was terrible. It, yeah, well, it, it got was. better by I the mean, end of the, it, yes. the end of the show was the thing. Yes, yes. It was, yeah, they set it up like it was basically a ghetto. <laughs> and then the rivalry with Eagleton and all. Yeah, that, well, that's the thing. It's like they were they were one town that split, and the good side of the town took all the money, and so Pawnee had nothing. Then they but had to remerge. She loved it and adored it, and da 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 da. da. And then by and, the end, after the two towns integrated, they had all you know the town got better and stuff. Yeah, like that. and then the whole everyone that worked. For was terrible and terrible at their job and terrible yeah. people in general <laughs> and then but she was so like optimistic and like well we're gonna have a rally and a discussion and it's like the people that would be part of that town aren't gonna yeah, yeah they just like to go to those meetings to complain and yell <laughs> yeah <laughs> but just that yeah she stayed positive and true yeah Love for her hometown, and they made it better. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it was anyway, fun. It was we a really good show. It. Yeah. So. Yeah. Let's watch it again. A third time. Wow. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Yeah, Parks and Rec. It's a good show. You should watch it if you have not watched it.